Hi, we're looking at a Speak and Spell Compact. It's a computer, an early computer game for children to learn how to spell. And it's also got a memory test on it as well. It was manufactured in the United States of America using chips from the Philippines. It was manufactured by Texas Instruments which is a technical company around in making instruments for measuring and also got into computers in the early stages, especially with their microprocessors, so that which they were selling to other people to put into their equipment. Anyway, this one, I'll just demonstrate a few things about it. To turn it on, I don't know what that said actually, so I'll ask it to repeat it. I still don't know, so I'll have a go. I th think it might have been fire, but I'm not F sure. I R E. That's incorrect. Try again. The word is fire. F I V. That's right. Oh, that's now, fine. N A M E. You'll notice that it it's not a QWERTY keyboard. Back in nineteen seventies, late seventies, it didn't really equate to computer people that a QWERTY keyboard would actually be the best layout for people using computers and especially for children so it was done in uh, just three rows in ordinary alphabetical order right now try jump j u m p -E. good next spell good now if you do make a spelling mistake as you heard before um, I, me, that's incorrect, try again, the word is good, G, O, O, D, correct, next, try to, and in, the number. Now the synthesizer is a very early oh, one. Yeah. Okay, so it does take you up in levels. There is also provision, and I'll show you later, for plugging in another pack to be able to get other games and higher levels. But this is the other game on it. It's called Letter Stumper. Letter Stumper, level A. Press go to begin. Press the letters I say. Okay, so it takes you through the various levels. So that's it in the layout. Uh, it's got the little speaker here, grill, but two slots for the sound to come out. There's nothing else to it, uh, as in there's no connectors, other than a slot for being able to plug a module in for a game of a games. It's got the battery compartment, which is using a uh, 9 volt cell. Uh, got the description of um, where it was made. And uh, okay, I think we ought to have a look in it. So I'll be back soon. Okay, we're inside now. The 
keyboard which is the membrane keyboard connectors come into the main board battery comes in this is the CPU the main processor it's a microcontroller it's a 4-bit CPU from around about 1974 was when they first came out this was made in the early 80s 1980 81 the next chip is the speech synthesizer it's a 4-bit made in around about 1978 and the next one is the read only memory a ROM it's 256 kilobits of memory and that feeds uh, this is a bit of circuitry for controlling the uh, for powering and connecting through to the uh, chips and we have the speaker here which is a quartz crystals type speaker so that's all there is to it a very simple unit made in very early days of computers and uh, still going strong today people are using these in for synthesizing uh, voices into um, music and uh, they're also doing other things with them to uh, the make fun things happen so that is the speak and spell compact they're a smaller version of what was a earlier model speak and spell which also had uh, add additional features on the keyboard it also had a, a readout on it so more can be seen on the internet thank you bye